In a previous video, we saw how we can calculate uh, the internal rate of return of a loan amount that you want to borrow um, and compare that to the interest rate that you might get from a bank from an alternative source. And we use the example of a car dealer. So we want to borrow $5,000 from the car dealer and repay $2,000 a year. So this is the cash flow if you were to borrow from the car dealer and its uh, internal rate of return is 9.7%. Whereas if you were to borrow the money from the bank, this is the cash flow and its internal rate of return is 9%. And you can see that you want to choose the lower internal rate of return because you're borrowing the money. So it's better to go with the bank rather than with the car dealer. Now we'll see an application of this concept in a slightly different context. So in this uh, spreadsheet, uh, we have um, again, a car dealer that wants to sell us a car at a list price of $15,000. And uh, let's say you have $9,000 uh, in cash with you that you're willing to pay uh, towards a down payment. And the remaining $2,000, um, the car dealer is willing to offer you a 0% loan. So that means you just pay the difference between 15 and 9,000, that is $6,000 and you just pay $2,000 every year for three years. Now, an alternative that you have is uh, if you were to pay cash, the car dealer is willing to offer you a $1,000 rebate. So that means while the list price is 15,000, if you were to pay cash, the car dealer is willing to let you have the car for $14,000. So in this scenario, what should you do? Should you take the cash price option or should you take the uh, the down payment and the uh, you know the repayment option. So let's uh, evaluate both alternatives. So if you were to do a cash payment, assume for a moment that you have the fourteen thousand dollars. So you would basically pay uh, negative. You you'd have this would be a cash outflow during the first um, the zero tier that is immediately and then you can take home the car and in subsequent periods your cash flow is zero if you were to take the credit payment then your initial cash outflow would be um, this down payment here and your subsequent cash outflow would be all these uh, um, payments of two thousand dollars on a yearly basis and so this would be the cash flow for you in the credit payment alternative. So one way to look at this is to say that the car dealer is offering you a loan of $5,000, which is the difference between these two cash flows. Okay, so uh, the car dealer is offering you this $5,000 loan and you put that amount together with your 9,000 and you repay the 14,000 you pay the $14,000 to the car dealer today. And you're returning $2,000 every year um, to service this loan of $5,000 that the car dealer has given you. So this is where this cash flow becomes similar to the previous example that we saw. So in this example, we saw how you're taking a loan of 5,000 and repaying 2,000 every year. So we have kind of reduced uh, these two alternatives into this cash flow here, where um, what you're doing is effectively taking a $5,000 loan from the car dealer so that you can combine that with your $9,000 and, uh, and pay the $14,000 to him today. But he's then extracting the $2,000 per year, uh, you know, uh, interest and principal repayment from you uh, for loaning this $5,000. So what is the internal rate of return of this loan amount that you're borrowing from the car dealer? So to calculate that, let's just do this. I'm going to change this a little bit. So it's 9.7%. Now, what you could have alternately done was to borrow the 5,000 from the bank. So you already have 9,000, which you're willing to pay to the car dealer. You borrow another 5,000 from the bank. So equals um, 14 minus 9, which is 5,000. And you repay on a, year, on a yearly basis uh, at the 9% interest rate that the bank charges you over three periods, over three years. 
a present value of five thousand dollars and a future value of zero because you are repaying the entire amount and the type is zero because you're paying at the end of each year and press enter and you have this amount here i'm just going to go over in the formula and press f4 so that i can uh, specify absolute cell referencing so that i can copy this and now if you were to copy this all the way down and if you were to do the irr for this you can see that uh, it's nine percent so borrowing the five thousand dollars from the bank and combining that with your nine thousand to pay the fourteen thousand dollars upfront and buying the car is better because your irr then is nine percent compared to taking this option where you pay the list price but pay a down payment of nine thousand and pay two thousand dollars every year which results in this kind of cash flow so this really is money that you're borrowing from the dealer uh, five thousand dollars that you're borrowing and you're repaying two thousand dollars every year and your irr for that is nine point seven percent so you pay a higher interest rate for borrowing money from the dealer than if you were to borrow money from a bank at even nine percent so i hope uh, you found this useful thanks for watching